Hey guys, I'm gonna put a short video together how to uh, download uh, Synergy Video Express, and then once it's downloaded, I'll show you how to uh, cut a play, and then after uh, you cut a play, I'll show you how to share the plays with uh, you know people in your crew. Then I'll, after that, I'll show you how to um, upload the uh, the games to uh, the team app via the uh, Dropbox request link. All right, once uh. You, you get logged on to your computer, make sure you go to this website right here, type this in. Um, it'll bring you to this web page. Click uh, now to install. Once it's installed, um, the icon will look like this right down here. And um, all you do is you click on that. And it'll ask you to log in. Your uh, login is your email plus your password, which is your last name, 1234. And the first initial of your last name is uh, capitalized. Once I'm logged in, I hit start download. I hit start game download. Make sure you're in the proper year. Um, I just picked last year because I know there's games in there. So I picked um, Adam State just to make it easy. I mean, you can select. You always want to select the home team or whoever recorded the game. Um, I check mark uh, the first the game that I want. And I hit download. I always select download raw video. I check mark that. Check mark it again. Hit download. And this is your queue. It'll pop up in your queue. Now you want to find it on your computer. Once uh, once it downloads your computer, um, you need to go to this file directory right here, um, Documents, Video Express, Downloads. When you download Video Express, it automatically creates a, a file directory for you. So if I go to my File Explorer, I click on Document, I click on Video Express, I click on Download, you can see all the games here that uh, I've downloaded. Now if I want to view the game um, and cut up some plays, then I just would open up a play. Um, I don't know, we'll do the Shadow and Western game. Uh, so I'm going to click on this Fort Hayes. There's just one, uh, one raw file. I'll click on to uh, open it up. Once it's opened up, the way that you record your games is super simple. Make sure that you go to your tools, make sure you go to preferences, and you go to input, and you want to create a subfolder to um, save your games to. So uh, I usually will just um, make sure that I, whatever game it is, I will make sure that I just put the date and who played. So for example, uh, I created the folder right here, November 1st, CU versus Fort Hayes. I just click there. I make sure I select that folder so any uh, plays that I cut up from here will automatically go in there. If you uh, don't have hotkeys set up, then you're going to have to use these buttons down here. So what I'll do is I'll just hit um, uh, the record button. As you can see, it's kind of highlighted in uh, light blue. I'll wait for the play to develop. Once, once I'm done cutting the play, um, I always wait a minimum of three seconds for the uh, clip to be over because the, uh, the record times don't match up with one another. So I wait 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, and then I hit record button again and it's done recording once we're done recording you want to go into your folder and see if it's there so i just would go back to um my file directory i would go to the google drive basketball info i go to my rmac folder I go to the Fort Hayes game and then I can see that my play right here is cut up. I would just hit right click and then I would hit rename, you know, whatever I want it to be. Once it's uh, it's there um, and you want to share share this whole folder with someone from your crew, this is for Google Drive. The Dropbox pretty much works the same way. All you do is you right click. There should be a little icon that pops up, whether it's Google Drive or Dropbox, and hit share. Uh, I always click on advance. Because you, because right now it's set it private. I hit change. Make sure that I switch it to anyone with the link can view it, and make sure it's on view only. Hit save, and then whoever was uh, working that game with you, or whoever you want to share with, you could type in their email right here, and then you can always add a message in here, and just say, you know, here's the the clips from our game, and hit send, and that'll share that folder. That's a nice way to do it, an easy way to do it. Um, now we've got to get these plays over to Vern. You've cut up a play. You've got to send it to Ver, Vern for the video plays of the week or you make the call, whatever you want to call it. Make sure you go to uh, just uh, teamapp.com, teamapp.com. 
this will take you to your uh, your platform. Make sure once you're logged in, it'll have the RMAC uh, logo. Make sure you just click on Upload Documents, and all you do is you're going to find RMAC Play Upload, and then you're just going to hit View Link, and this is going to take you to the Dropbox. I repeat, you do not have to have a Dropbox account, a Google Drive account. Those are just recommended if you want to share your folders with somebody. So you don't have to sign in. You don't have to create an account. So basically, all I'm going to do is hit uh, Choose File, and I'm going to go back over to my Google Drive folder, my basketball. I'm going to go to my RMAC folder. I'm going to go to that Fort Hayes, and I'm going to find that game that I want to test, and I'm just going to hit open that uploads it you can add many more files if you want so you can select another play and then you just type in your name you put your email and then you just hit upload and that's how you uh, submit your place to Vern so now you know how to download vi video Synergy Express you know how to uh, view your games you know how to cut plays, you know how to share plays, and now you know how to upload them to the uh, team, lab, team app. If you got any questions, please let me know.